Man, this is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got beer. Chase, when you get done, hit me with another shot. So I got I got to cheers to shit. Shot of sweet tea and sweet lime. tea, baby. Need you to settle down on that sweet tea, sir. <laughs> you, you, you've had a couple too many. Don't make me get rowdy in here. All right, hey, you are rowdy. <laughs> you are too, Reggie Butler. Hey, what's your name, little white? What's your name, Reggie Butler? The um, here's what. Maybe come hug you in front of your podcast. <laughs> Don't do that. The uh, he will too. Here's something I wanted Reggie's to ask you too. Reggie's been drinking actual shots. <laughs> We're not done yet, Reggie. Hold on. I love you. I love you, Reggie. Side by side over there. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You put the rut in the, in the middle of the field. <laughs> Yo, crazy bastard. So. One thing I wanted you to talk about, just your personal experience. Of course, in the comments, people always say certain things about how Paul and Juicy, yeah, that line was... You saw that. No, you're good. Yeah, the, I think the camera it was almost 3D. That's pretty dope. Yeah. The, uh, the, ca- the comments love to talk about how they think they know certain things. And you're good. I just they t- wiped it on my pants. I'm they talked about it. Talk about how... Well, three six, you know, they they didn't take care of the artists. They Both. they did this, they did that. Both. Just your personal experience with Paul and Juicy, and, and, and your time with him. Personal experience with Paul and Juicy. As far as just to despair, because people say that, and they, they what a lot of people that have said this fail to realize, and this is why they say the things they say. Paul and Juicy signed most of them to distribution deals. Okay. Yeah. To show you the ropes on what to do once your deal's done. Same that they did with you. And I, all I right. did was follow the fucking blueprint. Yeah. Soon as my contract was up, I started white music. I fucking had Jelly Roll. I had Shamrock. I had Miscellaneous at one point. I had Fraser Boy. I had yep. Therapy. I had a lot of shit going. I did my own shit. I started my own merchandise. I'm the one who got Paul and Juicy to put their merchandise in Selecto hits because it would make more money because my overhead was under. Yeah. I took the fucking information that they gave me and I used it. Everybody else just ignored it, got high, got drunk, got paper, fucked hoes, bought cars, bought jewelry, and never focused back on the business side of it. And I'm talking to whoever has, and I know, I know, I know who you're talking about. And I'll say it plain as day. Paul and Juicy never fucked me. Paul and Juicy showed me the way. I'm still doing great today. To this day, I'm still cashing checks. To this day, all my bills are paid. To this day, I've got excess amount of money in the bank. I mean, I just bought a pair of $8,000 titties. <laughs> just out of nowhere. Hell yeah. Bought $20,000 side by side. Just because. Hell yeah, making it rain on him. Yeah. Make it, I, I bought the side by side because I knew the titties were bouncing the side by side. <laughs> so it's like the gift that keeps on giving. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But, 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 but see, a lot of them people yeah. that are saying this didn't know how, they're not business minded. Well, they're they not, can, and most of them are YouTube trolls too. Well, but, no, what I'm saying is. But yeah. But the, but the, the, the people, artists that are complaining. Well, the people, yeah. the artists that complained weren't business minded. They, were, they could just rap. Right. And once the money was gone, the money was gone. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That, and that's that's my only answer on that one. No, for sure. And I wanted you to clear that up because all you can talk about is what I talk is your to Paul every day. Exactly. And you, if you, I called yeah. Paul right now and said, Paul, I'm in trouble, he would say, what do you need? It don't matter what the fuck I tell you. I can tell that motherfucker I need a Band-Aid or $10 million fucking dollars. And that bitch will be here like that. Yeah. Like I, my luck, he'd call somebody that he knows across the street to bring me a band aid, or he'd call the bank down the road to drop off a bag. Yeah, you know what I mean. And Paul's like a father to me, and Juicy do the same fucking thing, man. Yeah, man. I talk to Paul a lot more than I do Juicy because Juicy's he's a lot busier than Paul these days. He's right. still doing, he's chilling. still on his solo shit. Yeah, Paul's more on his production side. He's he's, he's went back to his roots. You know, Paul does his DJ parties now. He's he's having fun with it. And they both got their own element to it. So, yeah. cheers, sweet tea to them motherfuckers. This is the first sober cheers I've ever did to Paul and Juicy. <laughs> cheers and one for the bar. Oh, yeah.